All right. Now we're doing free code camp, front end development libraries, bootstrap, use responsive design with bootstrap fluid containers. All right. So in the HTML5 and CSS sections of Free Code Camp, we built a cat photo app. Sure did, but it surely did not look like this. There were many more, there were two more pictures and some other stuff going on. Clay, we didn't have this one here. I only know this, I only know this because I literally just uh, updated this like last week. But anyway, whatever. Let's get back to it. Uh, Bootstrap will figure out how wide our screen is and respond by resizing our HTML elements, hence the name responsive design. Ah, yes. Uh, with responsive design, there is no need to design a mobile version of our website. It will look good on devices with screens of any width. We can add Bootstrap to any app by adding the following code to the top of our HTML. So we have a little link and then the rel style sheet and then we would do href this thing right here, right? And then integrity, this stuff right here. I don't know what that means. And cross origin, this right here, right? Uh, should we go? I think we should. Let's go see integrity HTML, all right? Uh, so the definition of this, of the integrity attribute, uh, will allow a browser to click to pardon me, to check the fetched script to ensure that the code is never loaded if the source has been manipulated. Uh, what? Sub resource integrity SRI is a W3C specification that allows web developers to ensure that resources hosted on third party servers have not been altered. Use of SRI is recommended. All right, I guess this thing, um, I guess this integrity thing is uh, the version of it. And there's like a uh, somewhere, somewhere there's proof that this is the version. I guess that's blockchain. I don't know what that is, but it's the proof that this thing hasn't been altered. I guess that's what that's saying. Uh, when using SRI, the website, pardon me, the web page holds the hash. It was a, it was some blockchain, huh? Uh, and the server holds the file, the JS file in this case. Uh, the browser downloads the file and checks it to make sure that it's a match with the hash in the integrity attribute. If it matches, the file is used, and if not, the file is blocked. All right. So we can use an online SRI hash generator to generate integrity hashes like this thing right here. Okay. Well, maybe when we get a little deeper, right? So that's pretty important, actually, uh, it turns out, this integrity thing. And then when we go to this thing... Let's go. Let's let's take another field trip. Why not? Uh, copy it and go here. <laughs> All right. Well, that's why we need that integrity thing, because what are you going to do? You're going to check to see if this is form inline and not form outline, right? Uh, yeah, I see the patterns. I see the patterns. I see that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Only patterns is it looks like TV static, right? Uh, so let's get back to it. So integrity is that. And then let's see what cross origin is. Uh, cross origin HTML. HTML attribute. How about that? Uh, MDM. No, no, no. We're going to W3 schools. Whew, this is this is a lot longer than I thought. Uh, the cross origin attribute sets the mode of the request to an HTTP cores request. Oh, Okay, uh, web pages often make requests to load resources on other servers. Uh, here is where cores comes in. Th a cross origin request, oh, cross origin request, I guess that's what that is, uh, is a request for a research, pardon me, resource, uh, ergo style sheets, iframes, images, fonts, or scripts from another domain, okay? Cores is used to manage cross origin requests. Core stands for cross origin resource sharing and is a mechanism that allows resources on a web page to be requested from another domain outside of their own domain. It defines a way of how a browser and server can interact to determine whether it is safe to allow the cross origin request. Cores allows servers to specify who can access the assets on the server 
among many other things. Okay, that sounds important, but I don't really understand what it's saying. We'll we'll probably get to this later. Uh, the opposite of co- of cross origin requests, pardon me, of cross origin requests is same origin requests. This means that a web page can only interact with other documents that are also on the same server. This policy enforces that documents that interact with each other must have the same origin or domain. And here's another tip. We're going to also look at the integrity. We just checked that out. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's pretty deep. Uh, We'll get it. We'll probably get to that later. But anyway, let's do something real smart right now. And uh, let's make this a let's bookmark this place. All right. Uh, So bookmark it. Edit it. We're going to name it something else. We're going to name it. uh, Bootstrap bootstrap href. That'll probably help us remember Uh, folder all bookmarks. No, uh, I want it to be on the bookmark bar. Okay, so done like that. And that should be good. So let's uh, continue. In this case, we've already we've already added it for us. They've already added for us to this page behind the scene. They've already put this behind the scene somehow. Okay. And note that using either this angle bracket or the slash angle bracket to close the link tag is acceptable. Okay. Yeah. So we don't need to do that. All right. And we haven't been doing that. Uh, To get started, we should nest all of our HTML except the link tag and the style element in a div element with the class container fluid. All right. So we've got the link here and the style here and the close style here. So right here is where we're going to start it off. So we'll have the div. We'll do an opening div like this. Open div. And then at the end, we'll do a close div. Close div. Whoops. Close div. All right. Let's uh, highlight all this stuff. Not all of it, though. Only, only, come on now. Okay. All this and tab it over once. All right. And inside this div, let's give it the class equals container hyphen fluid. All right. So, yeah, Uh, I don't think that did anything. Oh, I moved it over a little bit. All right. Cool. Uh, So let's run the test. Looks good. And submit it. All right. Now we're on to make images mobile responsive. And we'll see you next time.